Welcome everyone. This video we are going to do a simple mod. We are going to change the lever and the buttons on this Kwan Ba Jong fight stick. A lot of viewers ask me, can the Kwan Ba Jong be modded or upgraded? Is it difficult? So I wanted to make this video to show everyone how to do it. Uh, the buttons are very easy to change. It is just plug and play. However, the lever is a bit tricky. There are a few ways to do it. So on your new lever, you can solder the cable directly to the board, but you have to have soldering equipment. You have to have some experience with soldering. Number two, you can cut the existing wire and connect those wires to this wire from your new lever and then use electrical tape to join them together. But you have to either have a chart to know which cables connects to which or have a, a button application on the computer to make sure you're connecting the correct wires. Number three is what we are going to do in this video. We are going to be using a five pin adapter cable. This is going to be the easiest way. Uh, this is going to be the fastest way. There's no soldering, there's no cutting cables, there's no gluing and there's no taping. This is just going to be plug and play. So let me change the camera angle to show you guys how to do it. Okay, for this project, we're going to need a few things. A Phillips screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, button of your choice, joystick lever of your choice. In this case, we're going to go with Sanwa. So if your Sanwa lever comes with a cable, go ahead and remove it. We do not need this cable. And ultimately, we are going to need the 5-pin adapter cable. So we're going to be using this cable to connect the Sanwa lever to the Kwan Ba Chong. Okay, step one. Let's flip over our case stick and we're going to twist left to remove this cap right here. It comes right off. Now we're going to take the flathead screwdriver and insert it right here to remove the ball top. Okay. And now we're just going to hold it, hold it and then twist. Okay. Now we're just going to take the washer off. Now we're going to take the the shaft cover off and put it aside. Now step number two, we are going to remove the six screws right here. Now I'm just gonna remove the, the screw like that. So you're gonna end up with six screws. So that's Take these away for now, and we're gonna be focusing on this. Now that the six screws are off, we can just gently lift the top panel. Okay, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have your eight buttons over here, your your board over here, and the Kwamba lever. Now, the next step, we are going to unplug this. This is the connection to the lever. Okay, you can just gently pull this out. You don't need too much force. Okay, and this part is to the USB cable. You can also remove this also if you want to. Okay. So now we have two separate parts. Now let's start with the top panel first. Let me take this away. And let's focus on this one. This is the top panel. So we're going to remove a button and then switch it with a Sama button. It is very easy. All you need to do is pull these plastic covers up and then the other one and then with these metal tabs you can just kind of wiggle don't use too much force and just gently gently pull it seems like this one is a bit tight so let me show you how to remove it if it's a bit tight. Let me grab a screwdriver. Okay, so if yours is very tight, use a flathead screwdriver 
and just kind of tilt, put it in this spot right here, and just kind of like try. You see how it, it just gently push this up like this, and same with the other one. This one might not have enough space, so this one is off. You see the lighting. So now this one is off. Now this one. Now I kind of lift up a little bit so there is room for me to just uh, insert a flat head screwdriver now just slowly just turn and it just slowly pushes that up okay now now it's much easier to pull this off now these two cables are off there are two tabs on the side right here let me see if you can see it so one here and one on the bottom. You want to just squeeze it. Squeeze it. You hear the sound? Once you squeeze it, it should come right off. Okay. So those were the the two tabs right there. So you once once you squeeze them, it goes in. Okay. So same thing as basically as these tabs right here as you push them in they go in so now very easy this right here you want to just put it in the same place okay and flip it over however you want it and just push up push down I mean in my case I'm pushing up in your case you might be pushing down okay but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to show you. It's not fully in yet, but I'm going to just push. Now, it hit, you hit a click. Now it's in place. This one is not fully in yet. And you can... Oh, it is actually. Got it. So now, our Sama button, it is on it. Okay? And just to put this back, it doesn't matter which one goes which, just push this back in and push this one back in. And now you want to just put the covers in. Just like that. Now we have successfully swapped a Sama button. Now we're going to bring back the bottom part and now we're going to remove four screws that's holding down the lever okay now we're gonna just gently gently lift the lever this is the Quamba lever and this is the back it has a square gate okay we're gonna put this aside we're going to bring in our Sawa lever. Basically, we we'll just put this Sawa lever right on top like this. And you, as you can see, the mounting plate will just line up with the screws. Um, just on the side note, Hayabusa lever does not fit. The profile is too big. It will not fit the Kwamba drone. Okay. Also with the Samisu, it will not fit. The profile is it's too big for the Kwamba drone. So that is also one of the reasons why uh, Sama lever is so popular because of the slim profile that is able to fit uh, more arcade sticks than other parts okay so we're just gonna line this up right here like that take your Phillips screwdriver and put this back you don't want to tighten one screw too much you want to just you want to leave a little bit of room just in case the other screws doesn't fit and then at the end once they fit then you can 
adjust because if you turn one it's going to pull too hard from the other side so you want to just get that perfect alignment first before you tighten it down okay and it's also good to probably do one on each side first but for my demonstration purposes it's not very important for now okay so now we'll take this cable the most important cable put this aside and this is gonna be going in with the two tap facing downward okay this one is the the smooth side this side has the two tabs okay so the two tabs facing down going in like this all right just like that now we're gonna bring back the other part now let me put this down and we're gonna bring back the other part so for here you want to connect your cable back in remember there's two tabs on one side okay this one has the two tabs which is gonna go in I, I guess you can say two teeth so there's two teeth right here so it's just gonna fit uh, when you're doing it you don't have to remove this cable I just removed it for demonstration purposes so if you want to put this back in so it's gonna line up okay so that's one and now for the other cable the same thing you see this side has two teeth okay and one side has two kind of like gaps it just goes right in here very easy push down gently So now let's pretend all eight buttons are switched because for demonstration purposes, we don't need to do all, all, all eight. Now you just want to make sure you don't push down on any cables and just slowly put it back together. And you want to put the the washer you want to put the the shaft cover and you want to put the ball top back on and on the bottom right here you just want to screw back the six screws and here you want to tighten tighten the, the, the ball top and after that you're all done very easy right and lastly just to make sure everything works up down left right the thumb up button that I switch Okay, everything looks good. So this is this is the Sama lever that we just installed. Oops. Okay, with the five pin adapter cable, everything works super easy, guys. So as you can see, changing the lever and the button is very easy and very fast. I hope this video was able to help you out. If you have any other question, make sure you leave a comment below. I love reading your comments. Uh, like, comment, subscribe is always helpful for small channels. And thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.